Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a Radio Shack telephone. This is a Palais Fashions phone. It's a, it's a painter's easel is what it is and uh, Charles sent this in from Arizona. This is kind of an update video or a part two of this uh, telephone. This telephone had a problem and Charles just kind of requested that you know we put another board in it, another main PC board. And basically what we're doing at this point is we're going to incorporate a new board with the original old board because I want to use the uh, ringer circuit and uh, the hook switch off this main PC board. Now this main PC board is no longer connected to this main dialing board. Um, they were connected in this area and they were connected by um, a piece of a ribbon cable. And so that's no longer going to be used. That's not in the situation any longer. So anyway, this main PC board is standing alone right now. Um, there's going to be a bunch of more connections between this board um, and the new main PC board that we use and so it's it, you know we'll just save that for a later video anyway this main PC board now is connected to um, another board uh, the styling board is and we had as you can see I'm going to try to straighten this out a little bit all the different connections that we had to do. This board is not designed like um, a lot of the other boards that you would run into um, on the dialing. This, this board here is uh, has has some different connections and some different trace lines. Kind of makes you wonder why um, certain things are designed the way they are. Uh, not because it has a uh, a flash up here and a uh, redial and a music on hold. It's just not, uh, the traces are not drawn out the same way that they would be on some of the normal boards. And uh, so we had to do a whole bunch of redesigning. As you can see, all these little uh, trace wires that we had to um, incorporate and redesign this board so that it would work with a, a new board, a new main PC board. So we have all that straightened out and um, everything's been connected now and basically what we're going to do is kind of do a little uh, test on this board. This uh, is the front cover and it has all your um, pads, all your conductive material pads uh, for your dialing capabilities here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to set the video down and I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick this board up because everything is loose here and get everything straightened out. And I'm going to set this board into the front cover where it belongs. And then I can turn it over. And I'm just going to have to hold everything, but I kind of want to show you, um, I want to go ahead and plug it in. And so what we're going to do now is I'm going to hit all our numbers and we're going to test them. end up with a 2. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit flash and I'm going to hit redial. And then what we want to do is we're going to end up in a 2 up here on the analyzer. I'm going to hit privacy which is no more than a, a hold button. And on the original telephone it was just a hold button. I don't believe it produced music but uh, the board that I'm using uh, I can produce the music with so it's music on hold basically.
take the music on hold off. I'm going to dial one more time. Hit flash. Redial. Take music off. Okay, and now uh, basically what we have here, I'm going to have to be careful with this to turn it over because basically what happens is, uh, and you can see where we've uh, installed our new wiring harness and that we've gone over to a new board with it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug the telephone now from the from the analyzer, and I'm going to turn this over again. Um, what I want to show you here is, I'll just take the main board out. There is a option up here on the top of the board for tone, which is really funny because. Um, we didn't utilize this button um, on a newer style phone, and this is not a new phone, but on a newer style phone uh, that has a tone function, there's no reason to dial out in any other thing but tone. Uh, you wouldn't take a, a newer style tone phone and flip the switch over um, and dial in tone, and the only people that are in uh, Pulse, the only people... Uh, Sometimes we'll get people in the shop and they'll say, this telephone's dialing out in pulse. I can't do any banking. I can't do anything. You look at the switch and they have it switched over into the pulse mode. So we're going to leave it blank. Uh, there's no other options that we have. We already have um, redial, music on hold, and flash. There's no reason to have this tone button. Um, it's, it, there shouldn't even be a reason for it. Uh, so we're going to leave it in the tone mode, and we're not even going to utilize that button. But what I was getting to is, what's funny about it is this main PC board here in the base has a tone pulse switch, and one of them, one of these switches right here, is a is a tone button, tone and pulse, and the other one is for the bell. So it really made no sense to have a uh, tone button which was a momentary switch going to the processor to have pulse or tone because you had one right underneath the board that you can turn but we're going to leave that blank too um, I don't believe there'd be any reason why Charles would want this telephone in the pulse mode um, so there's no reason to even make that connection we're just going to leave them blank and leave the, the main board on a tone function. There's no reason to dial out and pulse unless you have a rotary telephone. And um, so we're just going to leave that in, in the tone mode. But um, anyway, you see this from time to time. You'll see a tone button and a pulse button. But then on the main PC board or on the handset or on the uh, the uh, front cover you'll see another button that you just simply push for tone. Uh, I've seen some cordless phones like that in the past where they have a function on the base and then they'll have it on the handset. It just doesn't make any sense. It's like uh, overkill and uh, no one would dial out and pulse anyway with a newer style phone. It just doesn't make any sense. But um, anyway, basically to uh, kind of give you another look at what we had to do. You can see all these different little trace wires that I had to um, redesign and, and get some of these traces cut and uh, wired the way we want to uh, make this board perform. And um, you have to do that from time to time. When you're doing conversions like this, you're going to run into all kinds of little stuff that just kind of gets in your way. Now, this board was not designed like a lot of telephone boards. 
it's uh, pretty straightforward on most boards but every once in a while you run into somebody who designed a board and it just makes you wonder I'm not sure they knew what they were doing when they designed the board um, and uh, it's kind of a long story but you know on your lines down three six nine and, and pounds should all be tied together but in this instance three and uh, six were not tied or were tied together but they were not tied to um, nine and, and pound and, and so on so they split it up and I have no clue why they would do that it just doesn't make any sense so it just just makes you wonder on some of the the um, people who design these boards or engineers it, it just uh, it just boggles your mind sometimes what they do but uh, because they just kind of make it hard on themselves so anyway um, we had to fix all that up and, and redesign a lot of the traces and make everything come together the way we needed it to come together and uh, we got past that point and we're well on our way now to um, finishing off this phone. We've got some more connections that we want to make to our main board. We're going to hook up our uh, hook switch that's up in this area. We're going to hook up our hook switch to a different board and uh, then we're going to incorporate that board into this base. There's not a lot of room so we're just going to do the best we can. Uh, the board is kind of small that I'm using, the new one but we're just going to try to sneak it up into this area here and uh, kind of try to pull that off but um, the other thing is is we want to take this uh, this handset modular port and what we're going to do is we're going to have to sever the lines on this main PC board and solder lines onto it and go over to our new PC board that will be sitting up here so the modular handset uh, the mic and the receiver will no longer have anything to do with this board. It will not be connected whatsoever. The only thing coming off this board will be a hook switch that will be isolated away from this board. Uh, the traces will be cut on it and sent over to the new board. And then uh, the only thing this board is really going to supply is the high and low ring on the ringer element but this board also enables us to not have to um, make a different type of a bracket for uh, our hook switch and so it keeps 